Templars desire to understand the nature of these artifacts. Their spies have called upon many doctors and other learned people in New York. They have also approached many tribes with questions. Yeah, they've been showing that manuscript far and wide. No one can read the strange writing or understand the images. We do have a name, though. We learned that Lawrence Washington sent out the manuscript. Lawrence Washington. Businessman, Virginian politician, and high-ranking Templar. Oh, uh, yes. I recently heard he was back from the West Indies. One of my men saw his major domo pick up a strange package. Then that package will be delivered to him promptly. Shay, figure out what it is and find Washington. And when you do, learn all you can. I'll prepare the Morrigan. Well, if we've any luck, that ship will lead us right to him. I make my own luck, Liam. And Washington is running out of his. Can't be far now, Captain. Aye. Careful. There she is. All right, man. Time to be quiet. Lawrence Washington is a powerful businessman, slave owner, a leading Templar. We lost track of him about a year ago. I recently learned he was in Barbados, but I haven't been able to confirm that. Now... Now you think he had something to do with the theft of the artifacts, don't you? I wouldn't put it past him. Haiti's a short voyage from Barbados, and his return to the colony certainly coincides with the arrival of the artifacts. We cannot let the Templars get control of these colonies. Whatever happens, Lawrence Washington must not survive. I'll make sure he doesn't. Like Douse the royals and tops! Loose and trip too! Crowd it all on! Call in the stunts! We've got a head! Reef the main! Blue off gallant! As much sail as you can! Incoming ship! They give it! Dars all but mates! Haha! <laughs> They're no man! Aye. There she is. All right, man. Time to be quiet. Some sort of Lawrence Washington there, is a sir. powerful businessman, slave owner, a leading Templar. We lost track of him about a year ago. I recently learned he was in Barbados, but I haven't been able to confirm that. Now. Now you think he had something to do with the theft of the artifacts, don't you? I wouldn't put it past him. Haiti's a short voyage from Barbados, and his return to the colony certainly coincides with the arrival of the artifacts. We cannot let the Templars get control of these colonies. Whatever happens, Lawrence Washington must not survive. I'll make sure he doesn't. Clues up! These are six. A blockade, Captain! But this won't do. Shay, you must follow that ship on land. I'll do that. Bring the Morrigan around another way. I Captain. Track that package and find Washington. Reef! Short 
Dos said. Remember what I said, Shed. Washington must die. Aye. firearm ever Hold that. What's this? A rifle. You there! Stay! Where are you? What can that be? It makes no sound. Thanks for the present, Master Washington. Thank <laughs> you. 
This is a strange surprise. Not quite what I was expecting. Now I must find Washington and interrogate him. Splendid party, wouldn't you say? Indeed. Master Washington has outdone himself. He has been looking rather pale, though. And his cough is worse than ever. Invitation, please. I need to get to Washington first. Then I'll worry about the artifacts. Who knows? All I've been told is that this is Lawrence Washington's residence. Isn't he a rich man? He got himself involved in politics, no?
looks like you ended up on the wrong end of a bad deal. Hmm. Now, one of you mobsies. <laughs> Are you sure you shouldn't be in bed? I am fine, George. Be a good host for my sake. Go to the wine cellar and get something special for our guests. I will. Gentlemen. <coughs> my brother is a bright spot in a troubled land. If I may make one request before I depart this life, please leave him in peace. He should have nothing to do with the troubles of the Templar cause. We all respect that sentiment, sir. You have my thanks, gentlemen. Master Smith, are you ready to leave on your voyage? Aye, sir. I shall return with answers. Master Wardrop, are you likewise engaged with the manuscript? Yes, sir. We will soon know its meaning. Then I bid you take your leave. <laughs> she did can barely stand on his own two feet. Better be right about him, Liam. Because I'm about to murder a dying man. We should move further away. Lots of <sighs> You are too late, assassin. It's never too late to ruin Templar plans, Master Washington. <coughs> <sighs> but my plans are already in motion. Even leading you here. <coughs> has given my allies time to escape. <coughs> Thank you for making my end a quick one. And thank you for revealing your master plan, you scheming snake. God damn it. I've never heard of Liam. I hope you brought the ship around. I'll make you oh. walk, boy. Is that a ship, Mortar? That's not sporting.
Lawrence Washington is dead. You look disappointed. The sickly way that man looked. He would have been dead in a month anyway. And two other Templars got away. They're looking into the manuscript and box. Did they have the artifacts? I don't know. Perhaps. I can't be sure. Then you did what was right by the Brotherhood. You'll find the object later. Cheer up, Shane. It's a rare day we can sow such chaos among the Templars. Perhaps. But to hear Washington speak, it didn't sound like they'd be too put out by the loss. Well, that's what he'd want you to think. That's what he'd want you to think. The memory appears to be fragmented. How much time has passed? A few months, I think. That virus is cutting off our access to complete memories. The readable, but messy. The Seven Years' War will soon break out in the colonies. Focus on assassin interference. We'll do our best. Won't we, numbskull? So grim about the homestead now that Miss Abigail and little Connor have passed. Aye. I've seen Achilles crying. Why shouldn't he? It's just that, he doesn't look sad. He looks furious. It's unsettling. He's struggling with the law. The law. I know, but it's been months. And we've done little but search for this blasted manuscript and box. The chasseur has a lead on the box. We need him and Chevalier and St. John's. Chevalier too? No hope of cheering me up then. When Achilles said whoever had the artifacts could access sites of great power, what does he mean? I'm not sure I understand it myself, Shane. I had a long talk with that of Wally about that. He believes the box can be activated to project words or images. Like a magic lantern? What do you mean? You know the magic lantern shows Father Connolly put on in the church basement? The box had a candle in it, I think. He put these little glass plates in front. Then we'd see the images projected on the wall, like cathedrals in Rome, bright and near as big as life. Ah, yeah. I suppose it is. Except that it interprets the strange language of the manuscript, too. If the plate were of a banner in Latin, we'd see it in English. How is that possible? Who knows? I fear we might never truly understand how any of the pieces of Eden work. Where in the world has the most beautiful girls? I suppose it depends on your vision of beauty. A damsel from Corfu and one from Oslo are as different as chalk and cheese, but both could be lovely. You see, opinions like that give a man a reputation for wisdom. Yeah, thank you. I would have just said Havana. The girls there have lusty buttocks and bosoms and feel no shame in putting them on display. But... That's no slight against our lasses from home. I suppose. I think Galway has the nicest ones. Fair and modest. Always willing to spot you a penny for an ale. We're almost there, Captain. Le Chasseur will be expecting us. And Chevalier. Ah, it's a small price to pay for a lead in the precursor box. Haul in the Stutzen! Get them aloft! Scouts all safe! Throw the mains! Call down and clue up! Draw up anchor!
Chevalier, what happened to your vessel? Got myself into a bit of a scrape. Sent three ship in all hand to their watery grave. The Giafu nearly followed them down. Just your fate has been better, Le Chasseur. Indeed. My sources inform me that Samuel Smith has searched far and wide, looking for answers on how to make that strange box work. He just returned from Europe. Where is he now? Refitting his schooner. If you hurry, you can catch him there. Oh, remember those blueprints? Well, I had an engineer build that marvelous weapon for your ship. Master Pucker's gun fires more shots than an artillery brigade, and twice as fast. Many thanks. Anything for my wooded friends. Captain? I will join you on this voyage. Then shall we, gentlemen? You are in a jovial mood, Shea. Why shouldn't I be? I have a new weapon, and will soon have a chance to use it. Besides, Templars are usually well guarded, and I'm sure that Smith fellow is no exception. I also took the liberty of ordering some improvements. The Morgan now has a ram cut through ice itself. I have heard of such technology, but never witnessed its operation. What about Smith, then? As he goes by. There he is! Most fortunate timing! Lady Luck never ceases to smile on you. He's seen us! Give chase! But hold your fire! We must not damage the box or risk losing it to the sea. Can this bucket go any faster? At least my ship is still seaworthy, Chevalier. Samuel Smith is the Templar's treasurer. What is your oh, He's lost the ship of that. He will destroy the box. Maybe he came here to meet someone. Or ran into your pirates. He's refitting his ship. Something must have happened. One of my allies attacked me. I would have known that. But he's back from a long voyage. Now's our chance to get him. Smith controls most of the Templar's wealth, doesn't he? With him out of the way... Washington entrusted the precursor box to him. He probably still has it. Shay's right. The box comes first. But we can't sink him. We'll have to board his ship. We'll force him to beach. He's ah. cutting through the ice. This is not a game, Captain Palmer. It seems you're not the only one equipped with such a ram, Shay. Let us hope ours fares just as well. It worked. The way is clear. Now, once more, your fortune holds. But do not waste time congratulating yourself. Smith is getting away. He's what is it? It's an ambush. Off where you sit, Diablo Nafer. Smith must not escape. Fire! He's dead in the water! Hey, Gosses! Here they come! Get the bases! Fire 
I don't see Smith's ship. We have a boat to improve the ship. There's Smith. He's moving again. No doubt he hoped to be a spectator of your device. I'm glad to disappoint him. And he's still within reach. This ice sheet can't stop us! Wickedness is this! Another Templar tactic. They can cover whole stretches of ocean with their flames. Careful, Shay. They could be burnt to cinders. It's nothing more than a last desperate throw of the dice. He knows we have him. I'll take care of this.
cannot be. No! Do you even know what that is? An ancient artifact. Treasure from those who came before. Yes. It matters not. <coughs> Some of the greatest scientific minds of all Europe could not make it work. <coughs> now all I need is the manuscript, and all shall be revealed. You're here. Congress is still in session. George Washington and his militia have fired on French troops under Jumonville. The French are calling it an act of war. George Washington. You mean Lawrence's younger brother? Yeah, it's the same. I'm speaking of Lawrence Washington. But you eliminated him. James Wardrop has moved up in ranks. All the Templar resources are at his disposal now. What about the manuscript? My sources in New York confirm that Wardrop has it. I also learned that he is here, at the Congress, under heavy guard. Shay, find Wardrop. Get that manuscript. This place is thick with Templar troops. Liam and I will make sure he doesn't escape. Who's he? Never heard of him. Hold you! Who's he? Well, he's a trucker and was colonel of the Warriors of the Six Nations for a while. He's responsible for the New York levies now, I think. He also has lands and trading posts all over the colonies. That must be the Templar William Johnson. Perhaps he has the manuscript, or knows where it is. As I have stated previously, I believe we need a national union, granted by an act of parliament, but bringing greater independence to our colonies. The French are an immediate threat, and we are ill-prepared to face them. 
to put it bluntly. The colonies must join. Or die. A rousing speech, Master Franklin. But do you truly believe Great Britain will grant her colonies autonomy? They have little choice, Master Johnson. You know the remoteness of this frontier better than most. Yes. But let us leave politics for another day. I wanted to thank you for your research. Of course. Of course. In the brief time I could examine that box, I could tell it was something unique. From ancient Egypt, you said? Well, as I mentioned in my letter, I am quite ready to electrify it. Excellent. We will have the box delivered shortly. As for the manuscript... Captain? I apologize, sir. But Master Wardrop refused to hand it over. He said the risks were too great. The risks? Ah. I apologize. You will have the manuscript and the box in the briefest of delays. You made an excuse for a uniform. Run to Fort Frederick and tell Master Wardrop he had better cough up the manuscript post-haste. Else I will have him scalped. I can't let that lobster captain reach Wardrop. Take that, you Templar dog. No! You have no idea what you're doing, fool! Keeping the people free from your control. How free will you be when the French undermine these squabbling colonies? These colonies would be far better off without the Templars pulling the strings. <laughs> we bring order from chaos. If everything is permitted, no one is safe. Even the devil can quiet. 
quotes scripture to suit his own purposes. Yeah. 